Hi and welcome to Distilling in Australia. My name is Nick. Well, that was a short retirement, but I needed to come back and just make some uh, clarifications in relation to this video that I did in relation to fermentation by an expert. So uh, what happened is I actually sent the video through to the experts and they had a look at it and they came back with a couple of uh, amendments. Now, as I said in that video, mistakes in that video were mine, not theirs. Um, and so, yes, I did make a couple of minor mistakes or yeah, reasonably minor mistakes, but I just wanted to do a quick video just to uh, update you and to give you the correct information because as you know I always try and get the right information out there uh, to you guys but as always here is five seconds of your life you'll never get back okay so in the video what I did is I uh, I uh, added the sugar which is the 30% the 40% the 30% so I added the 30% uh, in the morning and then it, uh, and then I added the yeast and the nutrients um, at that same time and then came back that night and pitched the uh, the yeast. Now that was because I had markets on and I was, I was busy so I was trying to sort of make a few shortcuts. I shouldn't have done it that way, okay? That was my, 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 my error. Uh, what I should have done is um, added the sugar, dissolved it, and then added, then pitched the yeast and the nutrients and the uh, DAP all at the same time. Um, and then that, uh, that's the optimal way of doing it. Second thing is, in that previous video, I only left it initially for 12 hours. Uh, now according to the experts, uh, you probably should leave it for around about 24 hours. What they're asked, what they're saying, is that you wait until your um, your your wash reaches a brick of between three and four. Now, for those of you using specific gravity, that's about 1.01 to 1.015 in that range there. So when it gets down to that level, then you add your next batch of sugar, which is your 40% circulated, so it dissolves obviously. Then you leave that until it gets down again to that three to four bricks, which is again the 1.01 to 1.015 range. And then you add your final amount of uh, sugar and uh, circulate that. Uh, still do the circulation with the pump because it keeps the, the yeast in suspension uh, for optimal uh, fermentation. But this is optimal fermenting. And as, as you guys know, I always try and get the right information out there. So it was a couple of little timing things that um, you need to be aware of and I just wanted to quickly update you about. The other thing is, you know, I know the humble sugar washer in the, in the distilling community gets a little bit of a hard rap, but I can assure you that I make, as you're probably aware, a, a vodka and a gin. Uh, and uh, I sell you know, around about 60 bottles a week of, uh, of both uh, of those products and uh, I do taste testing uh, as part of, of selling it. Now, you'd be amazed at how many people comment about how smooth my particular product is. So it's all about cuts, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're doing a grain uh, mash or sugar wash or whatever, the end result is what you're doing is you're converting sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide by using yeast. That's the end, that's the end result. How you do it depends on how much stress you're putting on the yeast. Now by being able to control your sugar wash in stages, you're going to put the least amount of stress on your yeast by following that process uh, and therefore when you do your distillation, as long as you get your cuts right, you can end up with actually a very good product, okay? And I've been told many times, not just once, but many times by people who drink um, very uh, high-end vodkas that my vodka is smoother than some of these high-end vodkas. Uh, and that's, that's the customers telling me. I'm not asking for it. They actually uh, tell me, I get that a lot. Uh, people go, oh wow, that's so smooth, um, and and that's the feedback that I get. So you know, the good old humble sugar wash, uh, she works just as well as anything else. Again, pick your product though. You know, like obviously, um, if you're doing uh, whiskies and those sorts of things, you can't turn a sugar wash into a whiskey okay, or a bourbon or, or whatever. Okay, if you, you if you're chasing those sorts of products, then you've got to use. The, the, uh, the right raw materials to, to gain that. You can't just say, oh, you know, um, I'm going to do a sugar wash and add a bourbon um, essence to it, for argument's sake. It just 
doesn't work. Okay, if you want to if you want to make a bourbon, then make a bourbon. All right, if you but the the biggest um, criticism I get is uh, from uh, people who have friends who are home distillers, uh, and they say, oh, you know, that just tastes like my friend's bourbon. Well, you know, what your friend's doing is they're making a sugar wash and adding an essence to it and trying to try and make it uh, into something that it's not. But yeah, if you're just going for a pure neutral like vodkas or gins or something like that where you need a nice uh, neutral um, uh, product, humble sugar wash, you know, it, it works. Uh, again, you know, as, a, as we know, 90% of distillers uh, buy it in, but if you want to go down the same road as I do, don't be afraid of, uh, of doing this. Uh, just watch your cuts. And if you follow this process uh, on the fermentation, you should be right. Anyway, that's it for, for this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, back into retirement for me. Ciao for now. Happy distilling. Stay safe. Distilling alcohol is illegal in Australia unless you hold the appropriate licenses and permits. I am not a lawyer and the contents of this video are not intended to be legal advice. Do not rely on any information contained in this video and seek your own legal professional advice before making any decisions. Be aware the Australian Tax Office and the local law enforcement agencies will be taking interest in this channel due to its content. Please keep this in mind before posting any comments. Any comments posted are the opinion of the person posting and not of this channel. Let's get started.